Hey family, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley B. If this is your first time, welcome. Y'all, I'm coming with a very, very, very quick word because I'm not about to play with the devil. I'm about to give y'all exactly how Holy Spirit, how cool when I tell y'all God blessed me with this last night. So I know it's going to bless somebody today. And this is a quick but yet powerful and effective word that's going to help somebody today. And so the question that I'm asking you is, what are you worrying about? What is your worry? What is that thing right now in your life that you are worrying about? Even your day-to-day -day life, these things that come up and this worry begins to, to take root. This worry begins to rise up. First of all, we got to address that part. We got to tear the enemy down. We got to shut the enemy's mouth. We have to silence the voice of worry. All those things, y'all, that worry, that fear, that doubt, that is not from God. That is a spirit that was that's sent directly from the enemy. The devil wants you to stay in worry. The devil wants you to stay in, in defeat. The devil wants you to stay in fear. He wants you to keep doubting God. But we silence the mouth of the enemy. Ooh, we silence the mouth of the enemy today. Every worry in your life, we silence it. Every worry that's trying to rise up. When you even even when you're making your day-to-day -day decisions even the day-to-day -day decisions and then the worry that begins to try to rise up even from your day-to-day -day, in your day-to-day -day lives i bind it in the mighty name of jesus y'all yesterday holy spirit had to get me together god has to get me together y'all some i so you know god got me stepping out right <laughs> god got me stepping out and doing new things right stepping out of my comfort zone right and i and i know that worry i know that fear that fear that the enemy used for so long to keep my mouth muzzled that that fear and that worry that the enemy used to try to hold me back from stepping out from doing new things from touching new things doing doing different things that i would have probably never done in the past or never stepped out in that way or you know i would have held myself back so of course you know the devil gonna try to come with his tricks and his schemes especially when he see me busting through the doors he see me busting past him to go after what god has for me so yesterday i stepped out in a certain type of way y'all and that voice of worry really tried to rise up and i'm talking about if i really wanted to sit and let that worry take root i could have just really sat in that and been defeated by that worry and i can see it i can see it for what it was i can see how the worry was i'm talking about it was just so many so many voices in my head about how i had just moved on the situation that I, that I moved, how I did it. And this was like so much that was coming at me. And so I had to silence it, right? And I, I instantly, I started praising God. I'm like, oh God, I, I'm going to worship you. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to put my focus on you. I, I, I've already done it, God. I'm not about to keep going back and forth with myself. I'm not going to keep overthinking this or any of that. And do you know that in the midst, oh y'all, in the midst of me speaking that to God and praying that and, and worshiping him and making it up in my mind that God, I'm not about to sit up here and go crazy. I'm not about to sit up here and worry about any of this, God. He reminded me, God reminded me of Jeremiah 29 and 11, right? When we know that scripture, for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And what Holy Spirit began to minister to me is when it comes to this worry in our life, ooh, when it comes to this, this worry, it does not matter what's on the other side of the worry. It does not matter what's on the other side of whatever it is, whatever the situation is, whatever we're worrying about. We have to remember that God knows the plans. He knows the plans that he has for us. So why are we worried? Why are we worried when he knows the plans and the plans that he has for us is for good things. It is not to harm us. So what he so what I begin to get from that is God, it don't matter what's on the other side of this. It don't matter what's, okay, yeah, I done stepped out of my comfort zone. I done stepped out and I done went this way. It don't matter whether it's favorable or unfavorable. It don't matter if it's if it's, if it's it's good or bad. It don't matter if it's what I expect or what I don't expect, God. It don't matter if, if, if I thought that it was going to be this. I thought that this was what you was calling me to do or whatever, God. And then I see that this is not what you called me to do, God. That's part of the plan. That's part of the plan. It does not matter what's happening. All these things that, that you will begin to worry about in life, right? All these things that's, that's happening around you. It does not matter. How I need you to start looking at these things in your life is that it's all a part of the plan. 
It's all a part of the plan. Whether you get a response or not, it's part of the plan. Whether it's favorable or not, it's part of the plan. Whether these people respond, whether these people ghost you, whether you thought that you was gonna that you had a new opportunity and the opportunity didn't work out the way you thought it was, it's part of the plan. Come on, somebody. It is part of the plan. And this is how I need you to start seeing these things in your life because it's going to begin to help you to start seeing these things differently. Even when you get these, even when you get these answers that you didn't, you didn't want it to be those answers. You didn't want it to be that. You didn't want it to be, you got to start thinking about it like this. If anything on the other side of this, that's not what I thought that it was going to be, or not with my expectation, that's even more better, God. That's even more, more better because that's not what you have for the plan. <laughs> that's not what you have for the plan. You say that the plans that you have for me, you say that the plans that you think of me, it is only to prosper me. It is never to harm me. So anything on the other side, I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. I don't care who it is. I don't care what the answer is on the other side. I don't care what it looks like on the other side. You say that you have plans to prosper me, God. So I don't care if there's some rejection on the other side of this. I don't care if it's a closed door on the other side of this. I don't care if, I, if it's crickets on the other side of this. God, you say that you have plans to prosper me. So that's part of you prospering me, God. That that means that that wasn't for me. That means that it's not meant for me. Oh, God, but then even the things, even the good things on the other side of it, whatever I'm, I'm waiting on, whatever I'm worrying about, even the good things that come out of it, the good results, oh, God, even if I get the promotion, oh, God, even if I get the good results, oh, God, it's part of the plan. It's part of the plan. And whatever it is on the other side of it, it is meant to prosper me you know the plans god you know the plans and you know what and you know why you know why i gotta you know why we gotta submit to your plans god you know why we gotta keep our mind and our and our heart stayed and and our focus on the plans of god because when we when we focus on our own plans it's gonna let us down every time it's going to let us down every time though our own plans our own ideas is going to let us down every time but god i can have confidence in the plans that you have for me i can have and so like I, and y'all this scripture ooh, i just love how god will give you new revelations the same scriptures over and over and over he'll give you new things he'll give you new things and so understand that we embrace we embrace whatever the plans is that God has for us. This is why we don't worry. This is why we don't worry. Because what are we worrying for? What are we worrying for? God, you, you know the plans. You know the plans. And you say that the plans is to bring me hope. You say the plans is to bring me a future. So you know what, God? Whatever this is that's, that I'm going through right now, this is part of the future. This is part of the destiny. This is part of the future that you're bringing me into, God. Maybe this needs to happen. Maybe it doesn't need to happen this way, God, because you're setting me up for my future. You're setting me up for success. You're setting me up to prosper me, my God. So what am I worrying about? I have nothing to worry about. I don't care if I don't get a response. I don't care if it don't work out the way I, I, I thought it was going to work out. Maybe it, need to, maybe it needs to happen like that, God. But it's all a part of the plan, y'all. I love y'all so much. I told y'all this message was going to be quick. I could keep going on this because I feel it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up. I love y'all so much. I, I really hope that this word just touched somebody today because this is exactly how god gave it to me last even just was just yesterday y'all exactly how he gave it to me i love y'all so much make sure you like you comment you subscribe y'all y'all know I, I love when y'all get up in the comments let me know what you think about this message put in the comments i am not gonna worry put in the comments god you know the plans god i submit to the plans y'all i love y'all so much i will see you in the next video